the window seat. Once upon a time in Durban, two men, both seriously ill, were admitted to the same hospital. They occupied the same hospital room. One patient had the window in the side wall, or you can say he had the window seat or bed, while the other one had the simple wall without any windows in it. The patient having his bed next to the room's only window was allowed to sit up in his frowler bed for an hour every day in the afternoon to help drain the fluid from his lungs. The other patient had to spend all his time flat on his back. Both the patients became friends and used to talk for hours every day. They used to speak about their families, friends, and occupation. They also talked about their involvement in the military service and about their holiday, etc. Every afternoon, when the patient in the bed by the window could sit up, he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all the beautiful things he could see outside the window. The patient in the other bed began to live for those one-hour periods where his world would be broadened and enlivened by all the activity and colour of the world outside. The patient with the window seat used to sit by the window and describe to his roommate how the window overlooked a park with a lovely lake. Ducks and swans played on the water while children sailed their model boats. Young lovers walked arm in arm amidst flowers of every colour and a fine view of the city skyline was visible in the distance. As the patient by the window seat described all this in exquisite details, the patient on the other side of the room would close his eyes and imagine this picturesque scene in his mind. When the patient with the window seat died, the other patients grieved his death. As the days passed by, he started missing the way his roommate described a view out of the window. In a hope to have a glimpse out of the window and the beautiful world outside, the other patient asked the nurse if she'd shift him to the bed next to the window. She was happy to make the switch, and after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. Though his health had improved, it was still very painful for him to sit up on his own. However, he was determined to see with his eyes all the images his roommate had described to him. As he strained to peer out the window, he was surprised to discover the window faced a simple wall. The patient asked the nurse what could have compelled his deceased roommate to describe such beautiful and wonderful things outside the window. The nurse responded that the patient was blind and could not even see the wall. She said, perhaps he just wanted to make you happy.